This is John for johnspeed.com. I'm here at the Soccer City with Coach Mike Hollinsey of the Iowa Barnstormers. Yes, sir. How are you, Coach? Doing great. How about yourself? Good. Good to meet you. What's going on here today? We got a tryout? We have a free agent tryout. You know, we, we figured, uh, you know, instead of doing it in Des Moines where it's kind of tough to get to for these tryouts, we'd come to Chicago since there's no team in Chicago at this point uh, anymore and, and take advantage of uh, the airport so guys would make it a little bit more convenient for them to get to a tryout. I was going to ask you about that. The, the rush, you obviously have a long history with the rush. Any thoughts on the fact that you know, they're going to be gone for at least two seasons? Well, I, th I think it's a shame, obviously. You know, the fan support here was great, and um, you know, we had a lot of great memories uh, from the Chicago rush. We had some great players, great coaches, and um, you know, they're hoping to get a team back in Chicago soon. Uh, but it is right now, it makes it awfully tough for those people who basically made it you know, their, uh, you know, their, their springtime uh, entertainment coming to the All-State Arena and, and watching the Chicago Rush. And I just, I just remember the interaction with the fans was fantastic. And uh, I'm sure the fans will dearly miss Arena football right now in Chicago. The, you know, coaching the Iowa team, do you think with the bliss, or I'm sorry, with the uh, Rush not being around, do you think they're going to be drawing more fans from Chicago out to Iowa to see? I don't know. You know, that's, that's a four and a half, five hour drive. You know, that makes it awfully tough unless you're going to make a weekend of it. Uh, but it is a great atmosphere in Des Moines. Uh, you know, the fans love it out there, and it's a tough place to come play as a competitor. And uh, really is one of the reasons that I went to Des Moines was the fan support and how they support their team in Des Moines. They do a great job. I remember bringing teams from Albany, from Chicago out there trying to play, and it's just one of the tougher atmospheres to play in. And uh, I wanted to be part of that. I'd like to ask you a little question about your career. First touchdown pass, <laughs> do you remember it in the AFL? Yeah, it was a choice route to Russell Harrison. Yeah, it was forever ago, and uh, you know he was one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He had a choice to run an out or a post, and obviously he picked the post. And uh, you know we threw the post on the first play of the game and scored, and uh, 27 years later, here we are. And that was the first touchdown in AFL, the first passing touchdown in AFL history. Yes. You always got was. that. I, I think that has more to do with scheduling than anything else. Hey, you take whatever you can get. That's right. Now, as a coach, what would, what would Coach Mike Hollensey say to uh, player Mike Hollensey when you're getting out of, out of Minnesota? Oh, brother, you know, out of Minnesota? Well, out, out of college, yeah. Out of college? You know, keep doing what you're doing. You know, don't forget, you know, what, what you put into it and up to that point, the hard work. And just if you end up making it into the pros, whatever the, the level it is, uh, don't become complacent with it. You know, keep that same work habits. And, you know, I think I did that as a player. I worked extremely hard. You know, I was a 5'11 and 7'8 quarterback. And I had, I had to do something different. And, um, you know, the work ethic is what got me there. Well, you CFL, AFL, NFL, Hall of Fame in the U, AFL? U, USFL. USFL? Yes, sir. Um, what, what would some of your highlights be? Obviously, as a coach, I know you won the... the yeah, we won the Arena the Bowl in 2006 here with the Chicago Rush out in Las Vegas against Orlando. Um, collegially, it was probably the game against Ohio State. Uh, when we, we beat them, I think it was 35-31 at our place. We hadn't beat them in 16 years. And it was Art Sleaster's last year there. I don't know if you remember Art yeah, Sleaster. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then Minnesota hadn't beat him again for another 16 years. So obviously that was my, my highlight as a college player. Uh, as far as a player in the pros, you know, it's hard to say. I didn't have a, a great deal of success. You know, I was kind of a journeyman, bounced to, from the USFL to the Canadian Football League. I got a shot uh, with the Bears uh, during the strike in 1987. Um, so, you know, as, as a pro, it was probably a disappointing uh, career, but you know, disappointing. You know, I think is relative. You know, I, I said I wanted to play professional football. I did, and you did. Um, and I may not be a Hall of Famer there, but you know, I got my opportunity. Well, I, 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 hey, I would like to play in the pros. <laughs> so, so before we let you get back to your the, the tryouts here, what do you want to say to the Chicago fans about you know maybe trying to get one out to Iowa? Because I started going to the Rush games this year full time, covering the team, and I love Arena Ball. Let's hear from a coach. Well, if, if, if you're used to being in a great atmosphere in Chicago, you, you'll, you'll fit right in out in Des Moines. You know? And matter of fact, I think a lot of the fans in, in Des Moines and Chicago got together a lot of times when we played each other. So, you know, they, they know they'll go out there and have a good time. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to put a good football team out there and it's someone worth making the drive for. All right, Coach Holinsey, the Iowa Barnstormers. I love arena football, and I'm not just saying that because I'm on video. I love arena football, and I, I've been a long-time fan of yours. Really, it makes two of us. Really appreciate your time, buddy. Thanks for having Thanks. me. Thanks.